Joe, let's start with the last couple of weeks for you. I suppose mixed emotions of joy to new contract, bit of frustration with the, the Welsh under 21s, yeah. bit of a roller coaster. Yeah, it has been definitely. Um, like you said, mixed emotions, good to get the contract sorted. Um, obviously, breaking into that Bristol City team is my, my goal. Um, that's going to be quite hard at the minute because they're flying. Um, so, obviously, I'm just concentrating on doing well for Cheltenham. Um, but it's good to get that sorted. And then, obviously, with the Wales call up, it was great to get selected again. Obviously, that's something that I'm very proud of to play for Wales. Um, and I'll always be proud of that. My mum, especially, is very proud of that. Um, but then, having to, well, I was supposed to start and then not playing through um, illness. Woke up on the, the morning of the game, I was sick. So, I missed both games in the end, which was a bit frustrating because obviously I missed two games here. Luton and, and the Newport game, um, so that was frustrating. But like you said, mixed emotions really, and then obviously Saturday was a bit disappointing. Um, but hopefully we got tomorrow to put that right. In terms of the illness, do you feel back to one hundred percent? Yeah, I mean I think in a if you've got a normal job, you can go back into work. But I think with football, it obviously takes a while to get um, your fitness back up. But I did a lot of work at, at Wales. Um, with the fitness coaches there, and I think that helped me a lot coming back into Cheltenham. So, I'm, I mean, I'm pretty much back to 100% now. And the new deal with Bristol City that obviously shows that either they're watching you or Gary's telling Lee <laughs> enough about yeah, you and how, you, how you're doing. I mean, obviously, I think, like I said, when I was asked about the new contract, I've been offered that new contract as a result of what I've been doing for Cheltenham because I haven't played for Bristol City, I haven't been there. So, it's obviously, um, they've obviously seen me do well. I know the coaches have been down and watched the games. And obviously, when you've got that connection that the Bristol City and Cheltenham do have, then you know it is a good place to do well. Likewise, it's a bad place to do badly. Um, and all I'm doing is concentrating on on keep going, keeping going. And the new contract for me won't change anything. It won't change the way I look at it um, because it doesn't change my mentality. And hopefully, we can just I can just keep going here, and we can keep pushing as a team. I think there's a lot more we can do. And you mentioned looking to bounce back after yeah. Saturday. League leaders, I suppose, you know, in some ways you can put that to one side, but Cambridge are going to be really smart in after what happened against Luton. Mm. I mean, we've had, I think we've had a tough run of fixtures, to be fair. But we played Luton, played Notts County, are probably the two favourites to go up. And I think you could feel that Saturday, Notts County, obviously didn't play the Luton game, but Notts County, you could feel that they were a good team. Ex Premier League players in there, um, which I think shows something, but. Obviously, when you come in the change room after the game and you see the Cambridge result, you sort of have in the back of your mind that you've got them on Tuesday and that there's going to be a reaction um, from them. So we've got to make sure that we're on it. Um, we can't take them lightly, which which we won't. Um, but we need a reaction as well from Saturday, which I'm sure we'll get. And after that run of games against top sides, you've got a run of games now against sides in and around you. So if you can cash in, you can really climb the table. Exactly. And I mean, we've, we've been decent against teams around us this season. Um, our form against the top teams has been a bit indifferent um, like Saturday but I think we've on the whole against teams around us we've done pretty well and I think like the gaffer said these this run of fixtures now coming up into the new year will probably define our season so it's important that we start that run of fixtures right tomorrow.